Here's a number strip from 31 to 50. Subtract using the number strip above. 32 minus 1. Now kids, as you know, in order to subtract 1, we must go one place backward on the number strip. If you do that, you'll reach at 31. So 32 minus 1 is 31. 37 minus 4. Now, in order to find the answer of 37 minus 4, we need to subtract 4 from 37. Subtracting 4 means going 4 places back. So, from 37 you will go 4 places back, that is 36, 35, 34. That would be 33. So, 37 minus 4 is 33. 50 minus 5. Now we have to subtract 5 from 50. Subtracting 5 means going 5 places back from 50. So that would be 45. Which means 50 minus 5 is 45. 43 minus 7. Can you guess what could be the answer? Well, let me explain you how you can find that. In order to find 43 minus 7, we need to subtract 7 from 43. Subtracting 7 means going 7 places back. That means it is 36. So 43 minus 7 is 36. 35 minus 4. Now, subtracting 4 from 35, that is, subtracting 4 means going 4 places back. If you do that, you'll reach at 31. So, 35 minus 4 is 31. 49 minus 7. Here, we need to subtract 7 from 49. Subtracting 7 means going 7 places back. So 49 minus 7, 42. 35 minus 1. Now subtracting 1 means going 1 step back. So 35 minus 1 is 34. 43 minus 2. That's correct. Subtracting 2 means going 2 places back. So 43 minus 2 is 41. 39 minus 3. 39 minus 3 means we need to subtract 3 from 39. Now subtracting 3 means going 3 places back. So 39 minus 3 is 36. 'subtraction by counting backward subtract now here you can find the numbers from 1 to 20 now if we want to subtract 1 from 9 to subtract 1 we must go one place backward on the number strip so, 9 minus 1 would be 8. Now, 16 minus 1. Again, children, to subtract 1, we must go one place back from 16. So, we get 16 minus 1, that is 15. 20 minus 2. Can you tell me how we can subtract 2 from 20? That's correct. Subtracting 2 means going 2 places back. So 20 minus 2 would be 
18. So the answer is 18. 14 minus 3 is dash. Now we need to subtract 3 from 14. Subtracting 3 means going 3 places back. So 14 minus 3 is 11. 